now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. Welcome back at 618. It is Wednesday. It is wet and now it is getting a little difficult to see out there across the Treasure Valley. This is a live look from the Grove Hotel. You can see it's just kind of hazy and misty. That humidity has reached 100%. That means the air is fully saturated. So we do expect that haze to form or fog. And that's what it looks like anyway, right? So it is a very wet kind of messy morning. 32 degrees with a light breeze out of the northwest. It makes it feel like 27. So here are those visibility numbers. These are all in miles. You can see in Boise now the Boise Airport reporting just mile and a half visibility about the same as you had up into McCall and then it stays kind of poor even out into our Ontario. So all these areas that you see in yellow have reduced visibility because of what's happening this morning. The precipitation, the cold temperatures, that high humidity, all of that coming together to uh, play a part in what will be probably a dicey morning commute. Not so much because of the snow on the ground. It's just wet and slush and temperatures, you can see the dividing line here, right? Of where the cold air gets slightly warmer. So we're still seeing snow up here. That purple and white indicates snow across eastern Oregon and Washington County, turning over to a rain snow mix through Ontario, Caldwell, and Nampa. As you hit Ada County into Boise, still seeing a little bit of that mix. And then as temperatures warm out towards Mountain Home and into the Magic Valley, we are just seeing rain. A little bit of a downpour happening over the Mountain Home area right now. So the I 84 corridor will be very uh, sloppy. For most of the morning, the side streets, especially lots of slush out there. So again, not icy necessarily, but messy. So just be ready for that this morning. A warm front will lift through today. That will slightly raise our temperatures, but because of the snow on the ground, we won't be able to get quite as warm today as we had expected yesterday. So we were looking at mid 50s for today, 24 hours ago. Today it's mid to upper 40s. So about average for the next to last day in February. We are continuing the area in purple here as our winter weather advisory through 11 o'clock this morning. Avalanche warnings continue for the east central mountains because of heavy snow there and more that's coming and winter storm warning in place through tonight. Now the good news here, the silver lining is we may see some sunshine before it's all said and done today. Even by noon, it looks like across most of the Treasure Valley, all that precipitation will lift off to the north and to the east. So expect a much better drive home than what's happening for you this morning. But you do need to be prepared today for kind of a slow time of it again. It's mostly rain at this point, but still rain coming down on top of all that slush will make things a little bit sloppy out there for your morning rush hour. This afternoon, those high temperatures, like I mentioned, just mid to upper 40s. Mountain home, we're not quite as much snow fell yesterday. May top 50 today. Up in the mountains, that warm front will boost temperatures as well. 40 for Idaho City today. That snow level rising to about 5,500 feet this afternoon. So McCall, Donnelly, Cascade may see some rain snow mix, but also a couple of inches of snow are possible in our mountain valleys. Even milder as you head towards the east central mountains. Still a few inches of snow possible, but highs pushing 40 for Sun Valley this afternoon. In the Magic Valley, you have a wet start this morning, but look at your afternoon. It'll be a little cloudy, it'll be a little breezy, but highs up around 50 degrees for Twin Falls today. As we head to the extended forecast, a chance of some showers again tomorrow morning, and then we dry out finally for the first few days of March, Jillian, but it will stay cool. We should be around 50 okay. to kick off March, and we'll just be in the low 40s. All right. But it's either warm and wet, cool, cool and, and dry. dry. Which